Hello and thank you for watching Guitar How To's. Now, just a note before I begin, there's, there's quite a few little grace notes in here. Grace notes are quick notes like this. That little note in the front, uh, you know, when you start it, it's called the grace note. And they can go in different directions. Those are grace notes. Da -da -da -da, you know, real quick note in the, in the front of the main note that you're going to play. So here we go. Very, very slowly. Okay, there's a grace note right in the beginning. So here we start a B flat or A sharp, really, but well, let's just. So he's in the key of G, and he's actually playing like a G7, kind of G7 outline. Right down the scale. And a slight bend here. Let's go on. Okay, he starts on the A and slides up to the B on the G string. You can actually hear the frets go by, you know, the, the slide into a G. And it goes here to an E and bends it up a half step. And then shakes it a little bit. Little vibrato, tiny vibrato. Now the, the point is that this is the G7 chord again. Okay, let's go on. Okay, he's doing again a grace note. He's on the C chord now. The band is on the C chord. <clears throat> so he goes from, uh, plays an E here on the G string. Uh, and flips it up quick to the G on the B string. then hammers on to the A. We can see that. I, I, I left it sit there longer so you could see it, but it's going really, it's played like this. Let's go on. So he goes from an A here to, might go to the C here, I don't know. Let me see. Actually, it probably makes more sense that the C is over here in the D string on the uh, 10th fret. Let's go on. There's a grace note again. It's an F to a D. Let me do that again. You can only go down to the F here. That probably would be better because you have this, you know, one and two thing going on here. So, um... I think that I think that's fingering is better. That makes more sense at fingering. Let's go on. Uh, 
Grace note. All right, so what's going on here? Uh, slides up with a grace note from the uh, B flat to the B. Then the C. Here's the notes. But he doesn't play them straight. He doesn't play it that way. He goes bend. Then finger the third finger with the string up in the air. Okay, this is, little, this is a Steve Lukather thing. He, uh, just a little side note here. Uh, Lukather would do something like this. Uh, he'd bend the string up and then he'd put his pinky up here. Now in this case, uh, what I think Betts is doing here is, you know, he's not using the pinky, he's using the third finger. So it's bend, half step, then finger it. Keep, keep the string exactly where it is and just put your third finger down. Let's go on. Okay, so we're gonna start with our second finger here. There's a reason for that. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so there's two grace notes here from the B flat to the B. G, D, F. Okay, now this is a G chord here. And then when he hits this F, it's, it's a G7. So here I am, I'll give you the nut here so you can see where I would fret I'm on here. So we start with the second finger so we can wind up like this over here. I think he bends that. Let's uh, listen. Yeah, there's a long, slow bend. Real subtle, real subtle. Nothing like this, nothing wild, nothing fast, nothing like that. <laughs> like a Richie Blackmore bend, you know? Really, that was even too far. Just really, really small. Let me back up a little bit, we'll go on. because this is not difficult. Uh, let me just back up a little bit. Now he goes to the D, down to the C. One fret at a time. Now he bends up first, but keeps it silent. And then starts to play. Okay, so you're shaking it, you're giving it a vibrato as you're kind of bringing it down. This is while my guitar gently weeps type solo thing here. Clapton does, uh, I think the same thing um, in, uh, in while my guitar gently weeps. You know, it's, you gotta have to just listen to it and just kind of, 
I'm not even doing it at the right speed, but you want to let it down slowly. And then it seems wherever this is, there's a B or a B flat to B. It's a grace note. It seems like that's a very, very common in this, very repetitive. G. Grace note again. we get to the raunchy part let's listen to this obviously the C to the D bend is the prominent uh, theme here let's listen to it on the bone there uh, let's just take it a step at a time here so he starts in an F by the way then you go to the C and bend it up to the D and it starts in the G So you, you release and pull off. All right. Uh, I'll just keep going. Now what I'm doing here is I'm bending the uh, C up to the D, but I'm, I'm also using, I always use my other fingers behind the third finger to, for more strength. My pinky isn't doing anything, although he's getting in the way here with the camera. Now he goes up from a D to an E. Now, I'll stop there for a reason. Practice that little part. Because now he gets into some bending. And the bending tends to go sharp. Let me, let me continue. Okay, let's look at these bends here. Um, okay, so... Okay, he's playing like a G6. You know, he's getting into this to go to the 7th. So what he's doing is... And then bends sharp to get up to the F. Or close to the F. Actually, he's flat, which is fine, which is really good. Okay, uh, so he goes E, D, and then the next one is sharp. Okay, it goes up almost to the F, almost just about. Let me uh, play it. Da, 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 you know. Okay. Play it again. So the first one's in tune, the next bends are uh, sharp. Okay. 
And I think that he doesn't even come down. Remember this as a kid when I was listening to it. I said he doesn't come down to the D either because he stays sharp on that on one of these Ds. Like it's there. It's not down here. Okay, let me back up so we're not lost. Now, I exaggerated that, but that's kind of what he is. He's not, he didn't return really to the D note. He was above, he was above it. He was sharp on it. Let me back it up and listen. Okay, so we'll continue. Okay, what I want you to listen for here is this. It's in the solo. It's very quick. Right here. I'm not sure you heard that with my uh, cue there. Uh, let's figure out what he's doing. Ultimately, he bends up to the minor third. Okay, bends up that minor third. Okay, and then. That turned into Dickie's Dickie Betts's, um, you know, infamous lick that he plays like in every song. It's a half step bend. All right, let's uh, listen to it. Let's figure out what's in this uh, rat's nest here. Let's back up and listen to it. Okay, the tricky part is this. I'm going to isolate this. If you just play that. Okay, so where is this? Um... It's a lot of third finger in here, in this area, in this area of the solo. Okay, so it's right down the scale. G, F, D, C, B flat on the G string here. Uh, B string, G string. Maybe back up now and listen to it. Isolate one thing here. So you're coming off of this, right? right down the scale. Now play the B flat again. So the next phrase starts on B flat, ends on B flat, starts on B flat.
Let's listen to it. See, it's bop ba ba da da da. Of course, the C bends up to the D here. So, listen to the next little phrase. So that is. Two frets, two fingers. This is, let's listen to it. Okay, this is a little difficult to hear this because uh, he's not picking real, real firmly in this area. Right, let's take a look at one of these final phrases here. He does this. Now this is very quiet. So he does. Almost is going to play like a, like a G minor, but he doesn't. Let's listen. Let's listen to it. D to B flat, and it's quiet, like he's missing, like he's missing the, the, the pluck. Let's see what the next note is. I think it's a C, let's see. flat G. to the very very end because he goes down to like that G major you know it's got the B there in the bass So he's on the beat. Okay, grace notes again. And that is it. So hope this helps you out.